Hi, I'm Morgan Marshall here with Chancellor Sardarelli. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So I wanted to ask you, how does it feel now that you're officially installed as Chancellor? I feel great. Uh, I think it uh, was a great ceremony and uh, obviously we have been building towards it for several uh, week, uh, days and weeks and a uh, lot of people contributed tremendously to, towards the event and we're very excited about it. So it was, uh, I feel really good about it. Yeah, it was a really lovely ceremony. Did you have a favorite part? Uh, no, throughout, uh, you know, every part of it was great. And uh, obviously Clyde's presentation, Dr. Edgerton's presentation was so special, but uh, every part of it was very meaningful, yeah. That's awesome. So um, what would you want students to know about your strategic plan? I think uh, what we want to uh, know more than anything else is the, uh, the future, uh, the vision. And our vision is a very simple one. It uh, talks about us, us, you know, CW, being recognized as uh, as a university that pursues excellence in everything we do. Uh, a university that's very focused on on adopting and living a, a global mindset in everything we do, and a university that's uh, uh, not only committed uh, but very engaged uh, with the local community, uh, with the state, uh, with the world. So those three things would like to make sure that uh, students as well as faculty and everybody out the community in fact understands it. We're all about we're all about excellence, we're all about being, you know, global and we're all about being uh, very engaged. Definitely. That's awesome. So what was the process and decision making like behind um, the creation of giving flight to imagination? Oh that's uh I don't know how the, you know as uh, there's anything else in life uh, uh, or in, in imagining. Uh, I think uh, we we start thinking about it, and um, I remember some of the things that uh, um, uh, Dr. Einstein had uh, said about knowledge and imagination. I've always felt that uh, you know, in the world, the world when you look at the world as a, as a, a world of possibilities, it puts an, eff an extra emphasis on creativity, and and obviously from creativity to imagination is just that close, uh, and so. Uh, in addition to that, I've always, uh, you know, I thought about uh, the Seahawk. We thought about our great presence as a, as a state in in flight. We were first in flight uh, with the Wright brothers, uh, and therefore all kind of came together. So, well, you know, this is uh, we got the Seahawk, and we talk about flight. We talk about imagining the future. We talk about creativity, and so uh, giving flight to imagination was just a natural. Uh, amalgamation of those various, uh, you know, uh, concepts, uh, and I do believe that, in fact, as you know, as a as as a I, uh, in, as a quote unquote a student of uh, of uh, history as well as uh, you know uh, a person who spent a lot of time building organizations all over the world, uh, I've always felt that uh, creativity uh, and imagination has have very very important uh, uh, part in building anything. It's all about ideas, you know. If you you start with ideas, and then and then you massage it, and then you develop it, and then you get the resources, and then you get people interested in it, uh, and then uh, and then you drive it. And so uh, I think it came together very nicely, and I think it's a very a very nice uh, tagline for us as we, as we go forward. You have spent almost a year as chancellor. Nine months. Yes. Yes. So, what's been your favorite moment through that? I think, uh, boy, I've, I've had a lot of favorite moments. I think, uh, I think the ones where we have seen, uh, you know, convocation uh, in December was exciting. I think some of the approvals we've gotten for new programs have been exciting. I think some of the accomplishments by some of our students uh, have been uh, exciting. Um, our going to the NCAA with uh, on, I think, two or three sports, uh, basketball, obviously the last one. Uh, also, you know, uh, how our ladies have played so well in volleyball and, and soccer. Uh, so there have been several, uh, several very exciting ones. And uh, some of the uh, rankings that we've gotten, uh, you know, the ranking uh, top 10 in the country in terms of value, uh, the very high ranking we've gotten by U.S. News and World Report in terms of uh, in, the south, in the southern region, uh, number six in, in, in that region among the public universities. Uh, our ranking as, uh, as the 15th uh, most beautiful coastal campus, uh, you know, uh, it's very exciting. So it's, it's been a combination of, uh, 
you know, external recognition, uh, both in, to the institution, external recognition to our students, external recognition to our faculty. Uh, one of our faculty, in fact, just uh, has been elected pres uh, president of the American Psychological Association, and there have been probably two others in the state in the whole history of the American Psychological Association, and to have a representative from our faculty doing that now, that's very special. So. It talks, it, you know, all of this talks about uh, what we are aiming at, and that is how to be excellent every day and how to be recognized in the future as uh, an excellent institution, everything we do. That's awesome. So, is there any message you'd like to send to the students? Yes, I keep <laughs> repeating the same message, uh, and maybe people are starting to uh, hear it. Uh, one is, if you're coming to UNCW, you've got to you've got to apply yourself. You know, don't come here just to you know, enjoy the beach and the scenery <laughs> and the, uh, you can do that too, and you should do that too. Uh, but you know, come uh, concerned about, look, I'm gonna apply myself in, into whatever uh, field I choose. Uh, I wanna do biology, I wanna do you know, uh, history, I wanna do creative writing, I wanna do uh, finance. Just apply yourself, I think it's a great opportunity. These four years of our lives uh, are, are so substantially important uh, for the future. Secondly, and I keep re repeating that, but it's an important one, just give flight to imagination. Uh, just around yourself as a human being and become a, a better person in many, many respects. And, and if you have some proclivity, proclivities, proclivities to certain things, uh, in addition to studying your major, uh, for example, if you want to learn to play the violin, if you want to dance, if you want to do Irish dancing, if you want to do, uh, you know, learn a language, if you want to go overseas, this is the time to do it. Uh, because I think at the end of the day, it's not just uh, doing all that for the sake of uh, building a resume. That's not really it, uh, but it's uh, just building yourself, getting experiences that will stay with you for, uh, for, your, for your lifetime. And, and in, in some case, may even redirect you in the future to do some things that you really enjoy and, and like. And the third element is, uh, you know, don't stick to your devices too much. Uh, you know, just uh, enjoy the world. This is a beautiful location. Meet people uh, in the classroom, uh, you know, in the city. Uh, uh, develop relationships. Uh, some of these relationships people are going to develop here in the next four years, uh, or the four years they spend here, are some of the best. Uh, some of these relationships are going to st stay with you forever. Uh, they're going to be your friends forever. So those three things, apply yourself, give flight to imagination, and develop, 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 create a relationship that's going to help you uh, and make you happy uh, you know, throughout your life. I think that's great advice. Thank you so much for meeting with us today. I'm Morgan Marshall for Teal TV, and this is Chancellor Sartorelli. Thanks, Thank guys. You.